Born in Savoy, Texas in 1934, Harold Joe Waldrum settled in New Mexico in the 1970s. By the end of the decade, Waldrum developed his signature style and became an important scholar and spokesman for the preservation of New Mexico's historic adobe churches and moradas. It was these adobe structures that inspired and influenced Waldrum's mature work, the clarity of the southwestern light and dramatic adobe architecture became the foundation for his series of windows and walls. And during the 1980s, working in the historic studio of Joseph Sharp, Waldrum developed what would become his most popular works. Based on the regional adobe churches, Waldrum created color-saturated paintings of abstract architectural forms. The 1980s work would also come to be defined by Waldrum's relationship with printmaster Robert Blanchard. Working alongside Blanchard, Waldrum experienced an expansive and creative period in his career, producing aquatints and linocuts of the same classic subject matter. In 1989, Waldrum sought solitude on a remote mountain ranch between Albuquerque and Socorro. He felt most at home in the off-the-grid lifestyle, which included mule raising and tending cattle. He continued to paint and completed his first self-published book, Ando en Cueros. Nine years later, he made his final move to truth or consequences. For the past four decades, the powerful imagery of Harold Joe Waldrum has left its imprint in museums, galleries, and collections throughout the country. The question has been raised as to whether or not he was an abstractionist or realist, a minimalist or a maximalist, a traditionalist or radical. Remarkably, the artist and his technique embraced all.